Oh man, so Sexy Red. Sexy Red is a rapper from St. Louis. She has a hit song called Pound Town. She recently had Nicki Minaj feature on the song and it took it even to another level. It's the summer anthem as a not for the ladies that's out there on South Beach or wherever they want the beaches and they just turking and acting, acting a fool. So, but she sat down with Angela Yee and she spoke about some interesting things that we got to talk about. So check this out and we'll come back with some light commentary. Boom. Cause I, <laughs> I just love be that. saying what's on my mind I and then they be like, why you say that? And I'm like, Cause you I wanted say? to. I'm like, what I say? What was right. wrong? What I say? <laughs> Is that how you talk to your girls? Like what? How, but, mm -hmm. We just talk freely. Okay. Like, we just yeah. talk about all kind of crazy shit. Have you yeah. ever said this might be too much and that and like took it out? Like took a, a very swap out, out of something? Bar. Yeah. Like tell us what, what it was. was. Right. I have that to know. No, no, I ain't never said no something that I wouldn't say in a song. I okay. be saying some off the wall. You just swap something out that sound better or make it make more yeah. sense. But right. I didn't. I didn't like the craziest thing I ever said in the song. Is um a lyric I said. I said, damn this nigga burn me pussy smoking like a seed. <laughs> <laughs> what the Because I was talking about fucking a nigga, and I said, damn the nigga burn me pussy smoking like a seed. <laughs> yeah, that was that's that, hilarious. That was the most but that's real shit. Like bitches ain't gonna never admit like if a nigga right. got them before, mm -hmm. like yeah, oh, he got shit. me. He got wow. me. Did that really happened. Happen? Really happen. Yeah, I got got before. Definitely oh, not shit. admitting on a song. Yeah. But you also had, um, you know, you had the makeup line gonorrhea or something was yeah. one of the. Um, yes. No, I didn't have gonorrhea. No, but I'm just saying. All of the different. Yeah. Uh, that was I one just of be those. open about yeah. shit like that. Like, Discharge. It's <laughs> real. It's real life. They Discharge act like this shit is not going on in the world. Yeah. Right. But women, like, it's when, the no sugar coating anything about right. anything about nothing for me. Like, I love it. The realness. That's is how it got to be. That's the truth. That's what I want to be when I grow up. It's gold. Free. So, no, that's how I am. Remember, old Jenny Bastard, he was like, I got burnt by God. Maria, twice. <laughs> no, I ain't Three. ever had. I had chlamydia before though twice. Okay, but I, I mean, never had that's the most pretty common. common yeah, be. very common. Well, yeah. let's do a PSA right now. So, how, <laughs> no, but how did you? So you felt it like you was burning? No, it'd be a smell for chlamydia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. you went to the doctor and they were like, "Cause me and my this what happened. Me and my nigga was together, mm -hmm. and we broke up because he was cheating on me. So then we broke up. Then I went and did me. <laughs> and oh, then shit. he did him and then we got, got we together. missed each other came back together and something went right we both was like what the fuck is this smell <laughs> oh shit <laughs> like ugh what's going on so did then we to both the went together? to the doctor yeah we went to the doctor yeah. together yeah. and then we both was like well you fuck two people and he, he like you fuck two people too I'm like well, we don't know who did it Damn. we still don't did know did y'all call did. the people that y'all was with and let them know that something went right I, I think I know who did it, uh -oh. but I'm, I'm going to blame my baby daddy, though. Yeah, blame him. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to take this charge. Yeah. So now, because you just so told me. Had it, so he did have it, too. We both had yeah, I mean, he's fucking okay. with me. We, we, like, I'm like, did you give it to me? Because you was fucking a bitch raw, too. And I fucked the nigga raw. But she. But just thank God know. you got something you can't get rid of. That you can't get rid of. That you can get rid of. That you can't get rid of. Sorry, sorry. That you can get rid of. Okay. Yeah. And none like because it's, yeah. it's gone. Yeah. 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 That's so. Did you learn the lesson? Yes. yes. What lesson did we learn from the? Chlamydia? Go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Don't double back wrong. <laughs> right. One wrong dick at a time. So at least that know you know you know what. Yeah. Don't don't do two at a time. You got to wrap it up with everybody else. Yeah, man, y'all heard that she being completely honest, and I like that. I like that, and I'm glad she said that. Some people say we share too much. No, she's sharing just enough because, yes, this is a woman in her music. She's portraying herself to be very sexually free. She's leading with sex, and she's talking about how she carries herself in some type of ways. Now, I like that she's coming with the consequences of her actions by living that way so women could look at that shit and be like oh so if you do move this type of way i might go ahead and get them claps i might go ahead and get the audience you feel me the standing ovation and fellas should look at that too i think enough people i'm glad i'm glad nba young boy did it in his song talking about when he had the europeans you feel me look at this right here look boy you can't see it from that angle look like Bitch, you better not judge me, ho. I just showed you that. And bitch, that around here, that ain't. What you doing? So y'all got herpes? No, he has herpes. That don't have nothing to do with me. So you single? Yes, I'm single. Let me see, young boy, got herpes. Facts. You know how many people in the world got herpes? Facts. You can't die from it. Facts. Find somebody with it. Facts. Use a rubber. Facts, kiss my ass. Facts, bitch. 
I don't know why you trying to make somebody feel bad because they got a disease. It ain't they fault that they got a motherfucking disease. You think having a disease is funny? Huh? You think that's cute? You think that's funny? Okay, so what the fuck if somebody got a disease? They say Usher got a fucking disease. What that do? He still got thing. He's still beautiful. He still got hoes, bitch. You might need to go catch it, bitch. NBA young boy kept a G. He got all these kids having too much sex raw. Obviously said that he has the yerpies. So people can see the consequences of these people living this lifestyle. Matter of fact, let's go and pull up this clip of Magic Johnson. You know, Magic Johnson is like the first well-known person that contracted HIV um, back in the days. And that was the thing. So here go Magic Johnson reflecting on that. Sex in an elevator. Yeah, different women have different fantasies and you wanted to make sure they reached their fantasies. I was, that was my thing. But I mean, you were Magic Johnson. That's all right. You you didn't mind being a daredevil every now and then. Sex in an office with people next door in the boardroom. You know, there's always a look about a woman that you can tell something about to happen. And so, what happened? She gave me that look, and I said, "Oh, uh, uh, not here." She said, "Yeah, here. Don't have any panties on, so let's go." But you know, that's the first time I ever had sex and sweating at the same time. My eyes are over here, not on the person I'm having sex with. Believe me. You're wondering what's going on in the boardroom. <laughs> well, door, hoping huh? somebody don't hit that door. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, women have different fantasies. Some want to be with two or three at a time. You know, one time I had six at one time. That's just... Six women? Six women. Now, was that their fantasy or your fantasy? That was both. <laughs> Probably most, mostly mine. I gotta tell you, you're sending me mixed messages. Because on the one hand, you're saying to me, safe sex, responsible sex, what I did was immoral. And even now, as you tell the story, I mean, you make it sound pretty good. I'm not sending you mixed messages. That was my life. If you ask me if I had fun, yes, I had fun. Did you reach all your fans? Yes, I did. But you paid for it. So y'all see dude, you know, talking to him like, damn, you seem like you seem like you kind of like happy that you live that life. But imagine like, I ain't, it's not that I'm not, I'm happy. You know, I'm, I'm just telling you the truth of the situation. At a point in time, I thought I was having a ball, but it came with some consequences. You feel me? It came with some ramifications for my actions. And I appreciate these people that could show the good and the bad of this lifestyle that they're portraying to people. So many times, especially with this Instagram era, with everybody editing their lifestyles and people wanting to go ahead and compare themselves to other folks that ain't them, we don't know the low lights. All we see is the highlights, the, the, but the low lights, <laughs> those have to be considered in. You got to take an average of the way these people are living and you know, that's where you really find the in-between is how really things are. But once again, I appreciate you, Sexy Red, for telling the truth about catching them claps. Getting that standing ovation from however you got it, you feel me? You seen she said, I think it was me, basically. I think she said, I, I think I gave it to gave my, um, my baby daddy. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm going to get up out of here, though. It's your boy Stacey, and I fought you. And the reason why, because yo, you fought with me. Yay. I'm out.